Three UCSD students, all named Daniel, have come up with an invention getting a lot of buzz. That's right. New at 7, tennis reporter uh, Natasha Zuvez explains why their smart earplugs are in such high demand. Yep, it's loud here. We're on UCSD's campus and you can see people around, a student playing guitar right behind me here. Well, now imagine it a whole lot quieter. These earplugs may not look like much, but three students here say they can block out all this noise and still let you hear your alarm in the morning. Meet the three Daniels. <laughs> Daniel Lee, the other Daniel Lee, and Daniel Sin. They're all former and current UCSD students and suddenly the focus of major tech blogs. Like, I don't know, we're flipping out. Like, yes, finally we're breaking through. While going to class, the engineering students invented this tiny piece of tech, smart earplugs. The idea came when Daniel Lee, no, not that one, this one, was studying and trying to sleep through the sound of partying. I was very focused. <laughs> I'll say to say that. Their hush earplugs have a tiny speaker inside that plays noise neutralizing sound. It also connects wirelessly to your phone, so you'll still be able to hear your alarm loud and clear in the morning. Hush earplugs run about 150 bucks. They recently went on Kickstarter, and the response was astounding. It took us about a little over five days to reach our goal. <laughs> yeah. Yep, just five days to reach $100,000 in fundraising. It recently closed just shy of $600,000. We were just like, oh, we have a bunch of college students with loud snoring roommates and loud neighbors, but there's a number of demographics that are very passionate. The Daniels are preparing to ship the earplugs out in May. They're still reveling in their success. <laughs> Natasha Zuvess, 10 News. Good inventors, not so great actors. All right, the three Daniels <laughs> say one of the group's most interested in their high-tech earplugs are couples who snore. If you'd like to be notified when those plugs go on sale, go to 10news.com and click on the red television button.